You wanna play some games? What kind of games? Fucking board games! Yeah! yeah! Afternoon, folks. And since Josh isn't gonna be here today, I'm gonna be your host for Jupiter Rescue. Jupiter, get out of your camera book. <laughs> Sorry, get back. No, I thought that was gonna be good. I thought that was what we were gonna go with. Oh, okay. All right. Jupiter <laughs> Rescue. Anyway, yeah, Jupiter Rescue, where you take on the role of. Uh, what are these things? There's robots. Maintenance robots. They're maintenance robots. Maintenance robots trying to rescue foolish colonists high above Jupiter on a colony that is being attacked by creeps. Creepy creeps with mouths all over the body. They probably have mouths for feet. Um, these are some great looking models, actually. They are really decent looking models. And they're very durable, too. They're very mm -hmm. flexible. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about breaking them. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so... Um, <laughs> Let's see That's how the creeps. game works, and uh, then we will play the game. Okay. okay, so you're going to agree, you're going to start your turn, and you're going to use one of your five actions that you get each round, and you will step off the escape pod. I now have four actions remaining. Well, I'm going to use my Heat Seeker, and I'm going to kill this super creep, because he's bothering me. Now, I don't have to run up there and get him, I just use my Heat Seeker, it's over with. Well, I still have one action left, because I used one and three, Let's get one of these colonists off. Let's start heading them towards the escape pod. Well, this is going to be a long journey for this guy because that was one action. I'm out of actions. Well, let's look at the card, and it tells me that I need to move on to what's called the conversion phase. If I've got a colonist that is next to a creep at the time this happens, this colonist will become... Oh, hey, Jeff. Oh, hey, Carl, what's going on? Nothing. You know the daily grind. And now we're stuck with this guy being a creep. So if I roll the D6, when I move on to the invasion phase, and I get a 5, I add another creep to every tile that has a 5 on it that has an exposed side towards the outside. And I take one creep, and I place him right there. Now... I draw a card, and I got Grenadier. That's gonna come in handy next turn. It's not like my core ability, which I can use every turn and not lose. This, once I use it, I will lose it. And then we move on to the next person. That's as fast as the turn goes, and it's pretty simple. Okay. There's no sound in space. Mega man. Roll the d6. Okay. So now everyone gets dealt um, one, two, two. Everyone gets dealt two, and you and pick. then we pick one. You, you pick, pick one. one. Okay. And if you have a red card, let me know. So we can all point at nope. you. Good. If you're a red card, you pick. Damn, Damn pilot. I should have said that right there. Are you on call us to do that? You're the one being so touchy-feely with your guard. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, back. Okay. All right. Dice. Fives. One here, one there. Wait, you've got creeps right there. Yeah. Is that it? Is no. that it? There's Don't your worry. guard. Don't oh, there. trust me. That's not it. Okay. Oh, I'm bad guy duty. Go murder them. So, super bad guy duty. I'll tell you super what, I'm probably just going to stay on this thing bad for the first duty. round. I'm going to kill this guy right now with my heat seeker. Um, you can still actually get off. And then I'll do this. One, two. Okay. And that is my turn. Five. No, you should not. Another heat seeker. Mm -hmm. All right, that means if I use him, it only really counts as one action. I'm going one to heat seeker. teleport. To you. Like we're within trading distance. All the way over here. Nice. Or do you want um, to wait for like sniper or something? Ooh, and I'm going to use two actions it, it's to clear those two actions. creeps. Kaboom. And dice. Fives. 
Okay, so I just got Power Grab, um, which is a setback card, and we have to add a Super Creep to each unguarded power plant, which all of them, I think almost all of them are unguarded. Yeah. And our hand limit is reduced by one for each occupied power plant. So how much is our hand limit now? Our hand limit is four. So yeah. So we have a zero card hand limit. Yeah. So we can't, have any, we can't have any cards. So oh, you might as well use them now if you can. You're safe, humans. <laughs> Except for that guy. <gasps> okay, then I'm going to use pilot. What the hell did you just do? <laughs> Bring it back. Fire. Yeah. So instead of waiting a full round, we got it back immediately. Yes. Here? No, I got no. you. Know what I got do not. All right. Do you just have to get this one. No, that's okay. So that one goes on. Yeah. And it is destroyed. I probably didn't get. But in space, that actually sounds it like. Did. Huh? It did. It did. Okay. Get it over with. Get him. <laughs> Signal the have? noise. Oh my god. Oh, look, we've already got one there. How many actions do I have? Uh, you have four. One, two, three, four. Oh my god. Oh my god. god. We win. We win. I need one. I need... Oh my god. Water. So, Water. 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 we just finished playing Jupiter Rescue. One of the most difficult and arduous games I have ever had the Mispleasure? Misfortune, I don't think mispleasure is a word. Displeasure is a word. Pick up a thesaurus. I've ever had the misfortune of playing. I've never played a game where it you are required to play with more people than it recommends. You couldn't possibly play this with the alternative rules of making it harder. What did I say? Dare you, dare you, double dare you to rescue every single colonist. You can't do it. If and you can, shoot a video of you doing it. Yeah. And, and send and, it to and, us. Yeah, let us know. Or, or post a link or something. Because we won't believe you. I and we used the way. friendly colonist or the polite colonist. Polite rule. colonist, yeah. It lets you move through colonists and it lets you move through robots because why wouldn't you do that? No, that's to make it easier. Adam, thoughts? Um, it's, it's just a very protracted, drawn-out slog of a game. It's like... I'd, and now it fries your brain. I don't it care does. about these colonists. I don't care. I'm yeah. a robot. I'm programmed to save 28 of them, and I would rather join the creeps in killing the humans. Oh my gosh, that is the most satisfying sound. No. No, no, no. Don't oh you killed God. him? No. Feed the humans to the creep. It's a great character oh model, goodness. by the way. Yeah. Yeah, they are great character yeah. models. He's super the, creeps. The creeps are so awesome. cool. Um, mouths all over the place. And they're very durable uh, models, too, which is something I do like about the game. Yeah. But, uh, guys, it is time to uh, rate this game in our three categories of ease of use, overall fun, and replay value. Let's do this. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> Jupiter Rescue in ease of use. Now, to specify, we're going to give this a 7 in ease of use, 7 out of 10. Uh, this game is hard to beat, but it is not that difficult to learn how to play. Um, big issues are that there are 
a couple rules that the rulebook really doesn't go into enough detail about. Um, one or two of the cards, uh, the rules are very vague and we're not exactly sure how to use them. In fact, we may have used them wrong in the video. But other than that, um, it's decently easy to learn how to use. Oh yeah, and you've got your turns on a nice nifty card right here, uh, which helps with the ease. Replayability, I think we agreed on a six. Um, the, the, the biggest downfall of this game is that it is so demoralizing that it takes much longer to play. Again, maybe we're doing something wrong. I don't know. It takes much longer to play than it says on the box, which is 30 minutes to an hour. This was another two hour game of this. And at about the halfway point, you realize, oh, we've only rescued half the people. This is so awful. And there are just so many bad guys and I just, I can't keep beating them back. And just like, you know what? Just, you know, I kill the humans. Kill the humans. I don't care. I'm gonna leave right now. Deuces, and you you're done. Um, that's that's probably the hardest thing about it. Why me? I'd keep it at a six. Yeah. Yeah. And as far as overall fun goes, we rate it at a six as well. Uh, simply because we can think of several games just off the top of our head that uh, are much more fun to play. Mm -hmm. uh, this isn't a terrible game. Uh, but it's not something that I would sit down and play all day on a Saturday just over and over whereas there are some games out there like Resistance or some other things that we own where we can very well just go all day playing the same game um, for that reason we're not giving it a terrible score but you know a moderate six I, can I just interject here yeah. I think part of the reason why we're actually so annoyed with this game is that when I bought this game, it said 30 minutes to an hour. If I had bought this knowing that it would take two hours, like Eldritch Horror says, it's gonna take at least two hours, fine, well two to four, mm -hmm. fine. Now I know what I'm getting into. Yeah. I'm not trying to figure out what am I doing wrong because it's taking two hours with five people. Oh yeah. So despite our gripes, there are some fun things about this game. It is fun to use the robot's abilities uh, and it is enjoyable to play. Um, so you look like Power Rangers. That's right. Boo. White guy's dead. But yeah, so if you enjoyed this uh, board game review, like and subscribe. Follow us on uh, Twitter at hashtag FailRoadExpress. Uh, let's see. Watch some more of our videos here. And uh, also check out our other links. Uh, we might have one for Kickstarters. We always follow Kickstarter videos. And uh, yeah, final thoughts. I was actually going to make a Twitter joke. Not anymore. Beep tweet. Kill all humans. Kill all humans. <laughs> all right.